simplest test performed on newborns in the hospital may be one of the most valuable, called pulse oximetry. A cheap, non-invasive test checks for serious heart defects. We put an oxygen saturation probe on one of their fingers, on the right um, hand, and then another oxygen um, sat probe on one of their feet, and we just measure their oxygen levels. Heart malformations are the most common kind of birth defect, affecting an estimated 1 out of 100 births worldwide. In 25% of cases, the defects are life-threatening, but the diagnosis may be missed because in the first few days of life, nothing may look or sound wrong. The signs of a critical congenital heart defect vary um, tremendously, and they vary from a patient being extremely sick and being cyanotic or blue, or to a patient that looks fine and is feeding okay. Screening costs about a dollar per baby and takes only seconds to perform. We like the emphasis stay with their mothers at all times. Uh, so we take the equipment into the room. Using a Band-Aid like wrap with a light sensor inside, technicians look for oxygen levels below 90 percent or a discrepancy of greater than 3 percent between hand and foot. These raise a red flag. This test it has a strong ability to detect infants that have the defect. Most states require a pulse oximetry test before babies go home. Florida does not. But Lee Memorial Health System has made it a system-wide policy. The sooner that we identify that an infant has a defect, the more appropriate treatment that can be instituted and the better outcome for the infant. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.